Hello. How is everyone out there? So, the title of this one, the title of this video is How Leftists Use Puritanism as an axe for their own personal gain. Now, this is strange because traditional leftism, leftist liberalism in the 60s used free love as their uh, crutch, as their ideology. And so it's strange how f 40 years, 2018, how much the left has changed. It's no longer about free love. It's a bizarre type of puritanism where all sex is rape and if you engage in sexual activity, you are shamed, you are being raped, you are going against the collective, you are going against the wishes of the state, the wishes of the Democratic Party. All sex is rape now. That's what they want you to believe. Now, why is that? Well, it's for their own personal gain. It's so they can be free to pursue their sexual desires without you getting in the way. The wealthy's having kids left and right, guys. You know, the rich are, ha are they're fine. They're, they're, they're getting married. They're having kids. It's their followers, the middle class, the American middle class, the lower middle class, American middle class, who are the birth rates have dropped significantly, significantly, almost 75% from 1960. So I think it's only like one out of every 60 females are having kids now, American citizens. In fact, the only ones who are having kids now are the lower class, the uneducated, and the wealthy, the upper middle class. Um, birth rates have dropped nearly 75% in the, the American middle class. And it's because the ideology has changed. The ideology that says all sex is rape, sexual assault, sexual assault, it's because of the hive mind that it's what they're being taught in schools. Sorry, didn't mean to pick my nose. But it's what's being taught. It's the ideology that's changed. And it's a very communist ideology. It's a very state-run ideology in which you listen to what the state tells you. You emulate, whether you know it or not, what the state tells you, and I have to tell you that the state doesn't care about you. The state does not care about whether you have kids or whether you don't. In fact, they don't want you to have kids. They don't want that because your kids are a burden on their system, and they cannot have globalization. So... The best thing a woman could do, especially a middle-class woman, is to get married and have kids, but they don't want that. But that's what's in the best interest of a woman today, is to have that family. Because it, it, it 
it protects you. You know, I've talked to several women who are in their late 30s who are miserable. Absolutely miserable. They didn't have kids when they should have, when it was best to have kids. They pursue their career. They have what they want. They have what they need, but they have that other entity, that other spiritual side that's missing in their lives because they never had kids. They never had the most important thing in a woman's life, in, in a man's life, in everybody's life, is, is the family. Those are the most meaningful things that you can have in life. Those are some of the few things that you remember. And the most depressed, the most miserable that I talk to are the women who have focused on their careers their entire lives and are now too old to have kids and realize that they made a huge mistake. And so they're telling other women, don't make the mist same mistake that, that I made. Have kids when you're young. Have kids when you can have kids. 18 to 24. That's, that's the healthiest time for a woman to have kids and her body still recover. After that, it gets harder and harder to conceive. So, And it's sad, man. I, I, I see so many young people who are in college, who are doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing, and just don't understand what they're throwing away by pursuing what their goals are. are. So... And, and it's really weird because the left, at the same time, uses at the left at the same time uses religion. They they dismiss religion. They dismiss American history. They dismiss the pilgrims. I'll use the pilgrims. They dismissed the pilgrims, right, that arrived on Plymouth Rock who were Puritans. They were Puritans. They didn't believe in having sex out of marriage. They didn't believe in the morality was, was very strict pilgrims. The left dismisses that, and yet they have the same ideology that all sex is rape. You must be moral. You must be pure. You must be use morality, while at the same time dismissing the very ideology that they're that the, they're they're asking that they're condoning. It's very bizarre, very weird. They're condoning, they're putting people into groups, LGBT, transsexuals. They're dismissing families. So, so you know, it's not like you're going to become a man and a man's going to become a woman and you're going to live ha happily ever after and have lots of kids. Most people can't do that. Now, there are exceptions to that rule, and I'm sure somebody can give me an example of a couple that has done that. But for the vast majority of people, if they change sex and the other person changes sex, most people will not be able to have kids themselves. And so they're using the most extreme examples to condone their ideology. They're using them as pictures as examples see look this transsexual couple had kids you can do it too they're using the most extreme examples and at the same time it's 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 
it's the same ideology that the Puritans had, that the, that the Pilgrims had when they arrived on Plymouth Rock, in which the American Indians had a completely different culture, had a completely different ideology. And so this is, it's sad because unfortunately, when you're getting drilled by that, by the television 24 seven in an ideology that wants the worst for you, that, that doesn't care about you. When you get that drilled into your head 24 seven, you start to believe it. And I'm afraid the vast majority of middle-class people, the vast majority of these people believe what they're being fed and that the state is responsible for the vast majority of unhappiness, of depression throughout society because the state has said you don't need a man, you don't need kids, you don't need a family, you don't need to get married. All you need to do is come with us, work for us. That's all you need. You need to be career-minded. You need to work for money. That's all you need to be happy. And I'm afraid that it's the statistics have shown that that is not true. The depression, the suicide, the bipolarism has gone up through the roof. But the state dismisses that. The state doesn't want you to know that. I'm teaching this because I want to help people. I'm not doing it for my own personal gain. I'm saying, don't listen to what they're teaching you. It's not true. It's as simple as that. The education is not true. Don't listen to it. Or if you do listen to it, have a perspective that is understanding that there's two sides and that and come from it from that point of view. But if you simply just go along with what everybody else is teaching you, you're going to be unhappy. I'm afraid I see so many young people. Now, I can only speak from where I live. I don't know how it is in New York. I don't know how it is in California. I don't know how it is in, in uh, Maine. I don't know how it is in Texas. All I can say is I know how it is in the South because that's where I live. These The young people are being fed a crock of shit, and they truly believe it. That the only thing that you need is a career in which you make money, and the rest will come. You can go on to Tinder. You can meet a man, and it's that easy. You can pick who you fall in love with. You can, um, but but when it comes to kids, you shouldn't have any because that's not in the cards. That's not what we're teaching you. We're teaching you to stay. A, 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 we're teaching you to be liberal. We're teaching you to be a leftist. That all sex is rape. That's what they're going after now. They're going after the family. They're splitting up men and women. I hope everybody understands that it's gender 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 and the reason they're doing that is strictly for personal profit personal gain they're not doing it for any other reason they're fine they have families they have kids they have houses they're happy they're not teaching stuff in these universities they're not teaching stuff in these schools something is missing something is wrong you know it's sad it's sad to see america disintegrate It's sad to see people sit by and do nothing. It's sad that supposedly good, law-abiding people sit back and do nothing. That's the I think that's that's the biggest that's the biggest shame for me is that good law-abiding people don't do anything. They don't speak up. That's the saddest thing. 
personally. You know, uh, I think Einstein, somebody said, the biggest problem is when it's not that bad people take power, it's that good people sit back and let them take power. And that, that that's where we're at today as a society. There's no culture anymore. There's no beliefs. It's just a free-for-all. It's a uh, narcissistic, me, 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 me. Everybody's out for themselves. Society. And so, when you have a society that's like that, the depression, the suicide... The drug, drug dependency, the incarceration rates go up because you have a society that is extremely narcissistic, that is stuck in this fool's gold system that is, that says, Material things are the, the, the only way to happiness. is through material things. And we've taught two, three generations this. And only to come to find out that it's not true. But we find out too late that it's not true. They're not teaching this stuff down here in these schools. And they should be. Because it'll save the world. It'll save society. That's why. That's how important this is. The future of humanity depends on this. So, I mean... If you want to really understand a society look how they treat the most vulnerable look how they treat the most vulnerable of society then you'll get a sense of what kind of society you live in go to the mental hospitals where people are drugged and and you know the mentally insane are drugged they sleep for 16 hours a day their phone calls are obscenely high. So it, it, the only communication that their children have with their fathers, with their mothers, are through a phone that the rates are so sky high because as somebody that wants to make a profit, the commissary is as astronomical. So they're, they're making profits off that. These kids, that's some of these poor kids, that's the only access they have with their parents. And so the drug addiction rates have gone up. The suicide rates have gone up. Bipolar, depression. And we, never, we don't sit there and ask why. Instead, we get this ideology through the TV that's being pushed and pushed and pushed. And people, unfortunately, are not smart enough to discern and realize they're getting lied to. They're not smart enough to know that on their own. They need somebody to teach them, but there's nobody to teach them because everybody that's in the schools have been indoctrinated. Everybody that's in the schools has to follow state guidelines. And so it's, it's a sick, demented, twisted cycle that has been, that has been throughout histories of society. This is a pattern, right? This is a pattern. I mean, just look where we're at from 1940. After the war, when, when young men went over and fought and, 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 and gave their lives for against fascism, against racism. And now, look at society nowadays. We just put people into groups. We're just, we've become them. We've become our own worst enemy. We've let... These people 
dictate the future of our children. And we have sat back and let it go by. So, you know, we've wrought this onto ourselves by not standing up. And um, next thing they'll do, they'll strip everybody of their rights. Then you won't have a right to speak out. You won't have a right. And they'll use private entities, private companies to pass these laws where free speech will no longer be. I mean, that, that's, the, that's the last nail in the coffin when they get rid of free speech. But they'll do it in a way because the Constitution says that they can't do that. So they'll use corporations, they'll use private entities to pass the laws as a loophole to get around to get around that. For profit. And when you turn on the TV, what's politics about? It's about grouping people together. It's the same thing. Same thing that Nazi, the Nazis used. Same thing that, that uh, communist uh, Russia used. Instead of looking at the individual person who is much more interesting. We're grouping people into these groups. So if you're a woman, you're supposed to believe this, women's rights, da-da-da-da-da. If you're LGBTQ, you're supposed to believe that, blah, 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 blah. You know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just sad. It's sad to see the, the shape of the country is is just completely destroyed the culture is just gone you know women are against men men are against women um it's it's an extremely narcissistic society um where everybody's out for themselves this is exactly what the american indians were afraid of that's why they didn't want white men coming in So it's bizarre to see the left using Puritanism as an axe when the pilgrims did the same thing in Plymouth Rock. But yet they denounce the pilgrims. They denounce religion. They denounce anything that, that stands in their way. And, that, and, and, and what stands in their way are the American people. That's what stands in their way. Just all you have to do is not believe it. That's, that's the solution. And, and, and teach other people not to believe it. Because the future of this country, the future of family, the future of humanity depends on it. That's how important it is. Thank you. That's all I got.